Hey there, this is Jacob with Survival Geek. Today I'm going to do a demo on the Stanley Fatnax Multi Saw for Wood and Metal Cutting. It is model number 20 220. This is basically a hacksaw, but they've gotten rid of all the tough part of the hacksaw and made it to where it's you can hold it in one hand. It's kind of small, so I can fit it into a tool bucket easily. So I turned this screw here on the side. It'll take any hacksaw blade. So this is Stanley 24T by 10 inch carbon steel flexible. Okay. Takes any hacksaw blade. And this is just a, a tightener nut. If I take the nut out the side here, nothing falls out. That's actually got a screw on both sides holding a, a plate on the inside. So the inside plate, we can see it moving back and forth. Okay. So I have my nut hole. And I have the plate. I want the plate to go down and I want my hacksaw and it'll go in either way. It's up to you. So I'm just going to put it with teeth facing down and you want it to where that plate goes down like so and it can drop all the way down if you want it to and you can raise it up to the length you need it to go to. So obviously if it's farther down you're going to have more leverage versus farther up and it may have a chance of breaking but uh <clears throat> so once i have it in i don't have to take my nut out every single time i just took it out to show you for demo purposes um i mean really all in all one rotation of the screw or even half a rotation i can get that blade in and out and that nut is still in there securely i have to take it out even more see it's still not all the way out so So there we go, you know, it's in there snug. And now I can saw and cut things. <clears throat> this is for steel, obviously. I could go through wood, but uh, I would need bigger teeth for the wood uh, for uh, better speed and whatnot. So what if I wanted to use like a reciprocating saw blade? Well, they just so happen to put a reciprocating saw blade inside as well. Right, it handles any reciprocating saw blade. I'll turn it over and back here so you can actually see. Except most reciprocating and hex saw blades, quick change knob, ergonomic, ergonomic by material handle for comfort and durability. Focus. Okay, these run about $10. Believe it or not, Target has a massive selection of Stanley tools. I'm sure you can find them in other places. So, I'll turn the nut again, take it back out. Now I'm back for my wood saw. So I have a, you see the finer teeth obviously, are, are more meant for metal. And the uh, wider gaps in the teeth here are more meant for wood. And I can stick that actually inside like we did before plate goes down. You can't use the other side because you stop and hit the nut. So you have to use the opposite side. It's basically just taking this nut and it's pressing against the plate firmly and making it to where this cannot come back out again. It goes all the way in. This turns and it's in there securely. It's not coming out. And I can saw or I can flip it the other direction and then saw upwards if I had to uh, if it was weird for me to get into where I'm getting into. Now, I noticed with the reciprocating saw blades, you see the handle straight. It's a rubber handle, by the way. It's it's cushioning. It's soft. It's uh, it's not too squishy, but it's uh, it's more meant for grip than it is for being squishy. As far as uh, it's not like a gel handle or anything, but it is grippy. <clears throat> um, but you see how it's straight, and then the blade is kind of curved a little bit. So it's to me, I'm thinking more of like a crescent. Uh, not too much of a curve, but it curve, but it is like that on all reciprocating blades. And just to show you, I'll pull this out instead of the side. So those are the Stanley ones. And then I happen to grab for my reciprocating saw. I have a, a DeWalt DWE305, which is a 12 amp reciprocating saw. Um, saws all, and I have an Irwin here for it. This is uh, this is one of the Irwins. It's pretty good. I can stick the Irwin in here. This is for thick metal. And it fits in there perfectly. 
and it does the same thing. So straight, and then the blade curves slightly, which is fine. Again, it to me, I like that because my wrist doesn't always have to go straight every time when I'm cutting. I can let my wrist curve just slightly as I'm cutting. So it, it works for me. <clears throat> same thing goes with, this is a Bosch. It's meant for uh, pruning. Five teeth branch, um, Swiss made RP125. It's a 12 inch. This is uh, just meant for live wood, outdoor wood, trees, whatnot. And it'll go in there as well. It's a thick blade. Okay, compared to this one here, see that's thin and that's thick. It's a thicker blade, but when I do release tension off this nut and push it in, it goes in all the way. So I'm going to push this in, a little, make it a little bit firm here. And I'm going to turn it. There. That works. It's not coming out. I'm out there, I can reach and saw with this guy one handed. It's going to hurt my wrist. I'd rather just use my reciprocating saw, but if I had to, uh, I've used plenty of pool saws in my life and uh, it still worked just as fine. So I'm, I'm just kidding with the hurting the wrist part. <clears throat> if you're using your hands every day or handyman type work or even stuff around the home, then your wrist should be pretty strong as they are. Saws aren't really going to affect it too much. Maybe after several trees, but hey. Anyways, that is that. And uh, Stanley Fatnax, I would uh, give it a shot. Um, works, you know, I think that's a, a lot easier to work with than uh, having a, having to hold a, a bigger um, hacksaw like one of these guys. This is a Klein um, and it's, it's heavy. You know, I got this in my hand. It's heavy duty. I'm sawing, 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 you know, but uh, oh, sorry, light went out, but uh, this makes it a bit easier depending on what I'm cutting. Don't get me wrong, the Klein's a great tool. A little bit in there, this is me. But uh, yeah, give it a try. Thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. So when that side gets a little dull, I can always just flip it back around and use the other side again. I like that as well. Go to that side. Oh, wrong way. My fault. There we go. User error. Pull it back out. Let the teeth go up. There we go. Teeth go up now. Yeah. Back around the other way. Well, flip it back over. Doesn't matter. I'm going either way. Bring on the how my teeth look and where I'm cutting it. Let's say it gets dull up here. I'm working on it, and I can pull it down some and work on here and work exactly where I want to. As long as the blade's facing straight and I'm not bending it purposely, it's going to be nice and strong. Even from here, I'm going to have good leverage. It's not going to break on me. Very good. See here. Reciprocating saw. Project board. Dust off. Pull that back out. Put this one back out. Metal. These are drywall screws. Thank <laughs> you.
for the record, it's not the saw that's stopping, it's just the fact that this is moving around on a plastic table, so. You can see the metal dust right here collecting at the bottom of the screw. So it is working just fine. easily get this into places I can't get a standard hacksaw into. And you just get the blade in there versus holding on to the blade. I've done that before, that's no fun. So, in the long run, I'm sold. Get that blade cleaned off. Lube them, they last longer. I got a little touch light over here. Touch it, turns off, turns on. Every time I accidentally touch it, it turns off. <laughs> okay, thanks for sticking around. I'll move on to another review. Take care.